The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is brought to you by Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, affiliated with Baptist Health. What's up, Jacksonville? It's your favorite media mogul, Dan Hicken, ready to give you this week's rundown of all things Jacksonville sports this weekend. And man, we got a lot to talk about. As always, let's start with the Jacksonville Jaguars and Urban Myers. We start to focus now on the NFL draft. We've gotten to hear from all the free agent signings. And yeah, there's some depth in there. And they improved the defense, the defensive line especially. I like what they did in the secondary. But let's be honest, to build a championship team, you must hit on the draft and that's what Jacksonville is going to try to do we all know they're taking Trevor Lawrence I don't know how many times we've told you this till we're blue in the face you know it we know it he knows it Urban knows it everybody knows Trevor Lawrence will be the first pick you want to kind of zero in on who that 25th pick is going to be and everybody has an opinion right we still haven't really addressed the tight end room would you trade for Zach Ertz maybe that's an idea would you take the kid from Penn State the tight end maybe Brevin Jordan from the University of Miami All to be determined. We'll see the draft coming up at the end of April. Can't wait. Cleveland, by the way, opening up somewhat for the NFL draft. So they are going to hold the draft in Cleveland. So that's a good thing. Hearing whispers that maybe Trevor won't be there. Might go to Cartersville, stay at home. We'll see where he goes. But obviously, I think the league will talk to him a great deal about perhaps coming to Cleveland. I don't know what's going to happen there, but that will certainly be an option for him. All right, you want to hit the hardwood? Talk some hoops. Oh, Gators. Oh, Gators. Whew. Oral Roberts, man, oh man, oh man, had it. I was ready to get on you, Mike White haters. I had a sweet 16 team in this crazy year with Florida where they obviously had the terrible thing with uh, Keontae, right? Uh, and, and, and then the COVID battles twice, and I had it all, and you took it away from me. And now you're all gleeful and ha and all that. Well, whatever. Mike White's not going anywhere. He'll be back next year. I know you think that Florida should be in the Final Four every year. That's fine. Uh, It got a little bit tougher for next year. Trey Mann is going to the NBA. He's already declared. Interesting to see. ESPN has him the number 15 overall player. Um, I think he'll probably get drafted around 20 to 25, but he's smooth, man. He's got a lot more room to grow and develop. I'll be curious to see what he does. That's what you do when you talk about a team that has its season over. When the team is still playing like FSU, well, you look ahead and they've got a big test. A big test in Michigan. Michigan is a is a team, a really good team, man. But FSU has a lot of dudes. Uh, I can't wait to see that one this weekend. Uh, Personally, and this is hard for me to say, I need FSU to win because then Prosser will probably lose the uh, pee pants challenge. So I don't know if I should say that, but I just did. All right, Um, high school going on right now. Good baseball game this week. Uh, a lot of good. There's so many good teams, but here's one we haven't talked about. How about how about Creekside and Clay played, and uh, it was Creekside winning that game. They got a starting pitcher who's a stud. He's going to Kentucky. Last name Frieda threw a complete game. Uh, they beat Clay, who's very good. Clay's beat St. John's Country Day. It's like this good team beats this good team, but that good team beat that good team, and there are a lot of them in the Jacksonville area. So anyway, congratulations. All right, that's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the local baseball matchups. Enjoy your weekend. Relax, and we will see you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.